Hey, welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany Ink channel. Today we have another dressing room with me try on video and it's in Zara. I know a lot of y'all are very interested in these videos, specifically Zara, because Zara does not cater to plus size and well, not explicitly. So how do I manage it? How do I do it? How I be squeezing in these clothes, y'all? This is not my favorite time of the year to shop Zara, which is why I really struggle. This video spans from maybe mid to the end of August until just a couple days ago and with the end of October. I was having a really hard time finding things in the store that weren't woven. You know, wovens are not stretching for me. They're not accommodating me. I'm a, a knit mommy. This dress is from H&M, by the way. And I believe I'm wearing it in one of the try-on portions in this video. I live in this dress. If it's still available, I will link it below. I know one of my girlies told me that they were completely sold out. I hope it's not because it's perfect, but I will check and see and I will link it below if it is still available. Also, before we jump in, follow me on Instagram. I really would love to reach 20K early 2022. And I would love it. I would be honored if y'all would help me get there. So yeah, follow me on Instagram at Born in Sequins. It's real cute over there. You know, we try to be very much aesthetic over there. There are plenty of pieces that I loved at Zara. They're really honing in on the 70s trends. Lots of psychedelic prints, lots of chevron, lots of sets. And I love that. This is me on one of the days I went back in the summer wearing a Zara dress that I got during the sale. A simple black dress, ribbed, midi. You can always count on Zara to have these dresses in their basics and they're never more than $25. This one really gave me nothing. I have a million black dresses. I have two million midi dresses, so yeah. Now this, this polo dress is very cute. Again, polo leading into the 70s. But child, this dress can't fit me. Look at this split. <laughs> the split was ridiculous. Like it was really crying for help. It could do nothing for me. And they do offer it in two other colorways in case y'all are interested. Sweaters are always a go for me and Zara. I have a lot of Zara sweaters. They always fit obviously because they stretch. I really like these colors together, so I'm gonna have to circle back to this when it warms up. Now, this is a dress I was very into, but for some reason I didn't get it. You know, pleats automatically scream it's in yaki, and I really like the silhouette of this dress. You know, I'm trying to lean away from bodycon, not completely, but I do want to challenge myself. It is midi length. It does fall over the body really nicely. It reminded me of like, images I've seen of like kimonos, like the way it's wrapped, the layers, or like maybe casual Japanese garb. I don't know. I don't know much about Japanese fashion history, but I guess it makes sense because the pleats, it's inspired by Izumiyaki. I really love the color. The split was gaping on the side a bit, so obviously it didn't fit, but I, I do kind of regret not getting this dress. It's true. I'll be honest. I regret it. So this is a different day, a different Zara. As you can see, again, going on with the psychedelic prints, with this jumper, the bright colors with the polos, these beautiful jewel tone satin shirts that really screamed Blanche Devereaux to me. I really love this print. Back to the 70s, this vest really screamed that 70s show. I didn't get it. I regret it. <laughs> Imagine this style with like some really voluminous bell bottoms. Yeah. This dress was interesting to me. One, because I like the color. I don't have anything in my wardrobe that's this color, but I really liked this texture. It was like a bath towel, <laughs> like a, a terry cloth, but not really. It was really soft and cozy. I really liked it. Didn't get it though. And this sweater, again, y'all know, Checkers got me in a chokehold. I really like this colorway. I really like that it was checkered, but also mixed print with stripes. I love the fit of it. I love that it was cropped. It would look really good with those jeans I love so much from Eloquii that I recently featured in my haul video, which I will link above. Another Zara basic, this midi. 
by the way, this dress was a large and the baby blue dress before was a medium large. And I could definitely tell the difference in the fits. This new dress, this mock neck dress, this is a large as well. It really gave me nothing, but it's one of those Zara basics you can always find. And it did come in like three other colors too. I believe it was only $17 as well. And then this sweater, I was very intrigued by it because it was kind of ugly, <laughs> but also kind of cool. I don't know, I feel like a, spe a very specific type of influencer would like wear this on like a Southwestern American road trip or something with some cowboy boots and cut off shorts. It, it really created an image in my head. And that's it y'all, it was, it was a struggle. This was maybe four Zara visits. I know the day that I tried on that colorful vest, that was literally the only thing that I could find in store. Like I really, really struggled and I didn't want to show too many sweaters because I was hot. <laughs> I didn't want to be putting sweaters on. And I also didn't want to show too many of those midi length body cons because they're the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm probably not going to be going back into Zara until at least February, March, when they transition into their warmer attire, which has more stretch, which your girl needs. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Did any of these pieces stick out for you? I think my favorite things that I tried on was the the vest and the turquoise dress, which I'm gonna check online and see if they have it because I keep thinking about it and I don't, I don't know, what do y'all think? Let me know down below. Make sure you like this video. If you like this video, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, please. I really wanna get to that 20K, y'all. I really wanna get to that 20K. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.